Hey, we're back. Same shirt, same day. I got all the stuff I needed to get done, done, and I got time for one more hour of college basketball. Okay, so let me get up to speed here. January 4th, we got, uh, I think, what do we got? Wisconsin coming up? No, Illini, the fighting Illini from Illinois. They're 9-2, and 1-0 and in the conference. Uh, it's going to be a tough game. It's at home, but let's jump right into it. Oh, I'm going to keep that checked. Run the other games first so we know where we're sitting. And I like this big screen to pop up instead of that little pop-up. That's why I keep that box checked until it gets to the actual game. So there we go. Nine and five Illinois, eight and five nine and two Illinois, eight and five Michigan. Big ten action. So Penn State over Northwestern. So we lost to Northwestern. Minnesota over Purdue. There's a big game. Maryland over Michigan State. Yeah. I like when my rivals lose almost as much as I like when I win. Illinois at Chicago. Or at Chicago. Michigan. 90 to 73. That's what I'm talking about. Will Hayward, 22 points. Yeah. That's what I get for cutting his the guy that was talking smack to him. He repaid me with a big game over a big conference opponent. That was Illinois. Illinois had some good teams. They've, I think they've been consistently, I want to say, better than Michigan over the, the long haul. I mean, they've had some really good teams. Maybe not consistently better, but when they've been good, they've been good. I mean, Michigan's been good too. I mean, here's a big test. Wisconsin, number 16. Indiana is playing Ohio State. Michigan State is playing Rutgers. And Maryland versus Iowa. That's a big game. Maryland's 4-0 in the conference. Iowa 1-2. But they're both ranked. So let's see how that goes. After this game, we're going to look at the, uh, the top 25 also and give you an update on that. I know I've been neglecting that, but we'll have a look. So Wisconsin comes in. We go to into Wisconsin. They're ranked 16th. Uh, Iowa upset Maryland, but they were playing in Iowa. So Indiana destroyed Ohio State. Here we go, Michigan and Wisconsin. Lost by five away to a ranked team. I'm good with that. I mean, we're nine and six, but Wisconsin's tough. Wisconsin's tough, man. Finish up January 7th. And then we're going to go to the rankings. We're going to save. We'll have a look at the top 25. Then I'll save it. I'll discuss the top 25 while it's saving. Coastal Carolina. The Chanticleers. I just learned that. What is that? I don't know. You got to look long and hard. Look, it looks like balls. Under. You got to look long and hard. Another incident. To find a unique name if you're landing on Chanticleers. I mean, that's pretty obviously that looking for something that no one else has. What happened now? Dion Price again. I gotta tell you, Dion Price, I think he's reg I'm gonna suspend him for a week. I'm gonna go hard on this punk. <laughs> You're going to see some... Oh, yeah? Call you back. Two weeks. There. I hope he's not... A, I don't... I think he's red shirt, actually. Yeah, he's a red shirt freshman. He's out for two weeks. So what's the suspension for a red shirt? Nothing. But I wanted him to know you got to shape up. Where is he on here? He's probably pissed. Riley Barrett's not happy. He should be happier after I suspended Deion Price. I didn't even talk to Riley Barrett. Deion Price? Oh, here he is. He's not even as upset as Riley Barrett is. Why? Why? 
Let's discuss your attitude. All right, that's it. <coughs> now he's really upset. Is he my starter? Yeah, he's my starting shooting guard. He's playing 28 minutes a game. I don't really have anyone behind him, so I got to keep him happy. And he is um, a junior. Well, we got a shooting guard coming in for next year. If he gets so upset that he transfers out, we got a four-star shooting guard coming in. But got to stay happy. Now, let's look at those polls. Number one team in the country is... Ex is Xavier, Xavier, 16 and 1. That's consensus. Coaches and media. Alabama's number two. They're third in the net. And then you got Kentucky. Maryland's up there at number four, 15 and 2. They're seventh. They're below Iowa in the net. And where's Iowa? Iowa's down here. Did Iowa? I think Iowa just beat them. Where are we in the net? We're pretty low. We're in the hundreds. <laughs> I'm scrolling a lot. 190. I'm not going to look at that again for a while. All right. To the next game. Another tough game. We're heading to Maryland to play the number four Terps. They're playing Indiana right there, number 14. Game just went by, but I didn't see the score. I don't really care about the score either. We'll find out what the record is when we get to the game. Okay, go move this microphone a little closer. Is that better? Is that better? Is that better? I didn't want it right in front of me, but it's not really blocking anything. So hopefully the audio is better. I don't know if there was an issue. I haven't even watched or um, edited or anything of the previous videos. I've just recorded. This is my third hour now. I'll sit down a little bit later and I'll put them all together and put them up. Maybe I'll wait until I have uh, maybe eight or nine of them in the bank because um, I don't know if you know, I have a two week on, two week off schedule, so I don't really want to record on my, my on weeks. So I have two weeks to record and two weeks to n no recording. So I want to get a, <coughs> excuse me, I want to get a lot in the bank. That way I have some to post while I'm not recording. I'd like to put them up every two days. It might be every three days, depending on how many I can record. But I think every three days is okay. I don't think anybody's going to be hardcore on this channel. Me personally, I don't watch any of these series until I know there's a bunch. Because there's nothing worse than watching one, getting invested in it, and then they just stop making them. So if you're watching this, you know that I've got at least 10 in the bank and I'm continuing to make them. Otherwise I wouldn't be posting them. I promise you that I'm going to go probably I'd like to go 20 seasons of this. I hope everyone's happy with that. Where are we now? We're on the 13th and our game is on the 13th against Maryland. So Indiana win over Northwestern Iowa Still, why are they still ranked 23rd when they're getting all these big wins? Let's look at the conference standings here. So Indiana, 6-0. and They did wind up beating Maryland in that previous game. So Indiana is alone in first place of the Big Ten. We're playing Maryland now. They're 4-2. and two. We're 2-3. and three. This is a big game. They're a lot better than us so far this year, but we can be better. I know that. So here we go. We lost by 13. Okay. Lost by 13 away against the number four team in the country at this stage in our development. Okay. I'm not overly upset at that. This first year, I want to hit all the targets, so it's 15 wins. Uh, I think they wanted eighth in the conference. We can do that. And then we'll build. We still got some players on this roster that I wouldn't have recruited. So as they start to leave and my recruits come in, we'll be better. I promise you that we'll be better. 
Let's sim to the next game. We got Penn State on the 16th. That's two days away. Pennsylvania State University. They're coming to Michigan. Not the other way around. I do like State College. I've been there. My cousin went there for four years on a scholarship. We took a tour of all the facilities. Beautiful, beautiful campus. And I didn't hit play. I'm sitting here yapping and nothing's happening in the game. So I'm going to turn that camera a little bit. Beep, 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 beep. Just so it's centered. A little more. Beep, beep. That's better. Yeah, that's better. I did save before this sim. I do have trouble with it crashing. I don't know if anybody of you, any of you watching have trouble with the game crashing when you're simming like this. I get an unhandled exception error. If my voice kind of stutters a little bit, I, uh, I got a bit of a chest thing happening here. Okay, Maryland's down to number five. I don't know what happened. Maybe they had a loss somewhere along the line. But it would have to have been a, a quality loss to only drop one. Maybe another team just impressed more. Iowa with a loss. I don't know what to think of Iowa. They had some big wins, and then they lose games like that. So Penn State coming in 9-9, nine and 2-5 nine, and five in the Big Ten. Michigan 9-7, and 2-4 and four in the Big Ten. In Michigan... Back on the winning track, 86 to 76. Big team effort. Michael Mastich had 17 in that. We're good. Let's let's take a look at the box score. I want to see. I'm always curious how we do in the second half. We did win the second half. We won both halves, but um, I'm a second half guy because I do so much rotation. I like to take advantage when the other team is tired and bring in fresh legs, just constantly rotating fresh players in there. Um, when I don't have the depth that I'd like right now, which is why probably contributes to the fact of us being 10 and seven. Um, we have help on the way. We have two recruits coming in, but they are replacing two really good players. So it's kind of a wash. After that, we'll have to, we'll start losing some players that, Mm, not the best. Let's have a quick look at the roster, and I'll show you. So we're losing uh, DJ Walton. So he's not the best. And we're also losing uh, Walter Perry. So actually, we're going to improve this year. We're keeping most of our best players. We have, Unless they leave early. I'm, I'm worried about these two here leaving early, declaring for the draft, because they're really good. I hope they don't. But if And if they don't, we're going to have... A new point guard coming in so he can rotate with uh, Ricky Lee. And then we're going to have a new shooting guard to join Riley Barrett so we don't have to use Tony Anderson so much because he kind of sucks. All right. We're going to go to our next game, which is Northwestern at home. We're starting to see teams for the second time. We lost against Northwestern in a close game at their campus. I was going to say the name of the city they're in, but I'm... Only 80% sure that they're in Chicago. And I don't have anything to look it up because I use my phone for recording. And that's what I use to find out information. All my brain is in that phone. Without it, there's very little that I know. That's why I carry that phone with me all the time. All my knowledge is in there. If somebody asks me a question I don't know the answer to, I run to the bathroom, pretend I got to go to the bathroom, and I look it up really fast. And then I come back and answer their question perfectly. That's what I do. No, I don't do that. I don't really care. I know a lot of stuff. I know stuff. I know some stuff. I know some stuff. Fairleigh Dickinson. That's a team I've never heard of. They're not fully Dickinson, but they're fairly Dickinson. Fairly Dickinson. <coughs> okay, so the sim is up to January 20th. Our game is on the 20th, so it should stop soon at Michigan Northwestern. Here we are. So Northwestern comes in 11 and 7. We are 10 and 7. Should be a tight game. It's a home game. So I'm expecting a victory here. Nothing less than a victory. Iowa still ranked 23rd. They had a big win over Wisconsin. They're up and down that team. Up and down. 
So we beat Northwestern at home. That's what I expect. It's a tight game, but we won. So now we go to 11-7. Uh, big conference win. I'm going to look at the updated conference standings. We're now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're 7th. So here's the cutoff of what they want. we got to stay ahead of Northwestern. So that win was huge. Huge. Everyone above us except for Illini is ranked. So that's good for us. We're still 180 in the net. Northwestern is actually ranked better than us. Hopefully that will change after we just beat them. But I don't really know how they calculate that. So we're going to save after that game. <coughs> If you're new, there's two videos before this you can watch. It's got a lot of information. But I will tell you why I'm saving after every game. It's the crashing. Um, I've had trouble with it crashing during simming, and it's very frustrating. So I save more often than not. Next game up, Purdue. In Purdue. I think they're in Indiana. I don't know the name of the town. I, w I should have another phone with me so I can look up information. I do have lots of other resources. I have tablets and computers and phones, but I have nothing with me now. Hit play. Nothing with me to look up information. It would be nice. I can just, oh, let's look at that. Oh, it would be nice to have a producer in another room where I can just say, hey, bring that up. Put that up on the screen. Here. You know, like they do, but it's just me. Sometimes my little boy's running around here, but he's in school today, so I don't have him to help me out. He'll pop in once in a while. He used to do that on my... Uh, my investment videos, Typical Dad Investor is the name of that uh, series. I think we only made 10 or 20 videos. Anyway, we're here. We're playing basketball. We have two more days of simming to get to the Purdue game. So there's a lot of fill talk. Um, so about me, I, uh, I'll talk about actually the CBGM once again. Uh, it's really piqued my interest in this game. This is a game I would play once in a while, but after I joined the CBM, now I'm really hardcore into it. CBGM is a, a um, an online league with over 100 people involved in it. Uh, so basically, you, you log in every day at some point in the day. You do your, uh, your tasks for the day, whether it be set up for a game or do recruiting or whatever. Then you export that to the guy who runs the league and he advances the game to a new date. You Then you log in, you can see the results of all your work and your game results and your recruiting results and you compete, you compete. It's a lot more fun playing this game when, you're, when there's another person on the other side of that game instead of just the AI. What I'm doing now is fun, but that playing against other people is way more fun. And you probably already know that. If you're a gamer, you know you want to play against people. You don't want to play against AI. Iowa with a loss, again. Wisconsin with a win. Maryland won. Indiana won. All the ranked teams won except for Iowa. I don't get Iowa. Whoa! We just got boot... I was going to say that. We got boot... We got we got beat <laughs> really bad. Wow. Wow. I don't want nothing to do with that game. Let's move on. We're playing Indiana now, and we might get another beating. We're in a tough conference. It's just one tough team after another. Like, we got to get good fast. So we're 11 and 8. We need four more wins to get to 15. I was hoping for 20 when I saw that non-conference schedule, but... Yeah, this conference is tough. Usually when you finish a tough game, you, you lick your wounds and you go and beat up some lower-ranked team. But not in the Big Ten. It's just one after another after another. Now we got Indiana. Purdue wasn't even ranked, and they, they whooped us. But we got Indiana coming to Michigan, so we're at home now. So that that should make some difference. We got three more days of simming to get to that game. So our recruiting is all done for the year. We got two recruits, two guards, point guard and a shooting guard. They're both four-star, both ranked around the 80-ish. And what, what's leaving are two players that are maybe two stars or less. 
So next year's team will be better if we don't have anybody transfer out. The transfer thing, it's it's still taking me some getting used to. Even in real life, I I'm not I'm not crazy about it. When I when I started watching, you could transfer, but you lost a year. You had to sit out a year. So when you transferred, you had a good reason to transfer. You were, you were transferring just because you wanted to play more or you wanted to win a chance. You transferred because you the coach hated you or you hated the coach or something. There was some main reason. Now you just transfer all willy-nilly. And some players have been to two or three different schools or three or four different schools. I don't like that. I mean, it's good for the players. You, the coaches used to have an iron grip over those players, keep them under the iron fist. So they took it a little too far, some of those coaches. They were like tyrants. Michigan State was lost to Iowa. Iowa's unranked now. <laughs> I don't get them at all. I keep saying that. But. And Illinois, see, now they're ranked. So that loss to Illinois doesn't seem so bad because now they're ranked and they just beat Wisconsin. So let's see if we can beat Indiana. <coughs> and we can't. Indiana comes into Michigan, beats us pretty good, 91-77. And um, that's that. That takes us to 11 and 9. It's not good. Me not like. So the top 30 Norton candidates, I think our guy got eliminated. But hey, it's nice to be considered. Let's look at our strategy, see how our practice is coming along. Still not, the high post is getting a little better with some of these players. And where's the trap? Oh, sorry, the five out. Yeah, we're still in the 30s on that. And in defense, yeah, we still got a long way to go. A long way to go. You really, It's really important to recruit players that play your system because otherwise you go through this. We're halfway through the season. We're more than, we're two-thirds of the way through the season, and we're not even proficient at the system we've been playing all year because I have a bunch of players who have never played that system. And, um, you know, I do look at that when I'm recruiting, but it's not a main thing that I look at. But I think that I'm going to have to start looking at that. Once I get to a point where I have more options in recruiting and we our prestige is up and we're one of the best teams, I can look at more. I can be a little more choosy. But I'm just trying to get the best players now while still playing the system that I want. And you can't really have both. You really need players that, that fit into your system or you have to change your system to fit your players because this is what happens. I mean, we're a pretty talented team. We're 11 and 9. We should be better. We're just not picking it up. We're not getting the system down. You know, we're into February now. The season's almost over. March Madness is a month away. And like there were, I'm running the half-court trap and they're at 30 out of 100 as far as their proficiency. This is not good. So that's a lesson for the future when we're looking at recruiting next year or even transfer. I would imagine I have some players transferring. I would think Price would transfer. I've been on him, on him pretty good, trying to push him out the door, get that transfer in. Sometimes I do better in transfer than I do in recruiting. You never know. The only thing is the transfer system on the game is a little wonky with the, the scouting. You kind of have to go mostly on the stats. But you can scout, but by the time your first scouting reports come back, a lot of the transfers are signed already. So these schools, I don't know if they're just going by like, you know, I'll take that guy, take that guy, or they actually have some knowledge of these players. I don't know. Uh, here we are at the Ohio State game. This is a game I want. Like they're a bad team basketball wise. We're decent. We're going into Ohio. I got to show Mitchell Robinson and that Kent guy what's what. Guy that told me to lose his phone number. There, lose that number, 8874. Oh, I forgot to check where he's going, where he went. Let me check now. Big win. I love beating Ohio State. That's, that's the season right there. Like For me, all right. Um, we're going to do the watch list. Going to go down here. Here he is here. Calvin Kent. He went to Indiana. 
This guy told me to lose his phone number and he goes to Indiana. Okay. Okay. Indiana, next year you're on the list. Yeah. Gonna save after that big win over Ohio State. Isn't it funny I have an enemy who is a fake player in a game? It says something about me, doesn't it? No. I take this personal. While I'm in the game, yeah. I got it in for that guy. The whole four years he's playing, I'm going to be wanting to beat him every time. But that's how you got to get it. If you're going to do something, be passionate about it. Put everything into it. As soon as I shut this computer, I don't even know who that guy is. Don't care. But when I'm in the game, I'm in the game. I'm in the game. All right. Texas State, I've never heard of that. Never heard of Texas State. I'm sure every Arkansas State. Every state has a state college. I would assume I'm... I'm Canadian, so I'm going by knowledge that I've accumulated over the years, but I've never, you know. So you got Penn State, Florida State, Michigan State, Indiana. Yeah, every, every, it would just make sense, but some of them are good and some of them aren't in different sports. So, but just Texas State sounds weird. Alabama State sounds weird. I'm sure it doesn't sound weird if you live there, but. It's just that shows the impact that sports have. Like I've heard of schools only because of sports. And, and you know, Texas State could be a good school. I just if they're not out there in the the sports world, I don't know them. What did Iowa do? They beat Ohio State. Good job, boys. That's my boys. We're in Minnesota now. In February. Yay. You know, here's a here's something. I'm in Toronto. I'm in Canada. Minnesota is further north than where I am right now. I'm on a par with uh, like Chicago around there. So, yeah, Minnesota is up there. They're north of me. Put that in your pipe. Yeah, big win. We're coming down south with a record of 13 and 9. We're two wins away from that 15 number. They used to be a 20 number, but I've lowered the expectations. What are these email scouting reports? I would assume, yeah. We got Ohio State again. They're coming home. They're coming to our town, our barn. They're coming to our barn. That's a hockey term. Yeah, they're coming to our barn, and uh, we got to go out there and work hard and uh, get bucks in deep, 110%, get back on D, grind on the boards, and good things will happen. You know, go out, go out there and work hard every day. It's a long season. You know, you're going to have your ups and downs. You know, you take what you can from the loss and you move on and uh, tomorrow's another day, you know. Okay, next game is 17th ranked Wisconsin on the 10th of February. It is currently the 7th of February, so let's go. We got three days to get there. Oh, where's our record? We're 13-9. We're 6-6 six and six in the Big Ten. I think that's uh, good enough. If we can go 500 in the Big Ten, we can finish 8th. That's a good floor. I don't want any worse than this. I want to be at Michigan for 20 years, and I want this to be the worst season I have. I've never gone more than three seasons on any save in this game or football. That's part of the reason why I'm recording all this. Just to focus. I'm already doing more than I normally do. I'd probably probably be halfway through season two if I wasn't recording, just because I tend to just skip things. Like in recruiting, I wouldn't call all the time. I'd I'd call when I'm I'm down to offering. Okay, I gotta start calling. But this is the right way to do it. Get take every step serious. And I'm actually getting more out of this game. Like, I know my players. You, sometimes I go through a whole season. I don't even know who my, my small forward is, you know. I kind of know, but, like, not offhand. So we got some big games here. Indiana beat Michigan State. That's a big game. And Maryland beat Nebraska. Let's look at the Big Ten standings here. I'd like to finish ahead of Michigan State. They're a game ahead of us. So we're 6-6. Six and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're eighth, but we got a game and a half over Purdue. Purdue beat us. Can you believe that? They beat us. 
So we're 11 and 2 at home. That's pretty good. We're 2 and 7 away. That is not good. Why are we so bad on the road? That is such a that's the biggest swing in the conference. No, never mind Purdue. 11 and 4 at home, 0 and 8 on the road. It's pretty common in the Big 10, I guess. Anyway, maybe it's hard to go to the Big 10 schools take their home court serious. Anyway, we got Wisconsin, number 17th ranked, they're 8 and 5 in the Big 10. Here we go. Big Big win. Woo, let's go. Let's go, boys. Michael Masich, 16 points, three rebounds, four blocks, four steals. Mm, we didn't just win. We won. Let's look at that box score here. How did we do? They actually beat us in the second half. They took 69 shots. I like to keep you up around 70, but our, uh, our shooting was a lot better. Look at the free throws. That's where we won the game. 15 to 3 made three th free throws. That's 12 points right there. That's huge for us. That's going to bring us up in the net standings. Currently, we are 138. Let's see where we are when that updates. We just beat a ranked team. It's our first time beating a ranked team. It feels good. It feels good. We belong. We're belonging. We belong. How do you say? What's the best way to say that? We belong. <laughs> I guess like that. Okay. Where are we? We're going to place him. Next game is Nebraska on the 13th. So that's going to take us into the next week. So our net standings will be updated. I want to see if we make top 100 after that win. Blow nose coming up. <coughs> I got confused. I had a cough. Not. I didn't have to blow my nose. Ooh, I'm not feeling well. I'm on the way back, though. Like, I've already been sick. Now I'm coming back to being healthy. It's worth feeling like this when you know you're getting sick. Because then you know the worst is yet to come. But I've already been through the worst. I've been sick for about a week. And I was sick at work. I was away at work. And I, I took the day off when I was getting sick which was a mistake because then when it really hit me, I didn't want to take another day off, so I worked through it. Oh, it's just brutal. Brutal. I'm so glad to be home and feeling better. I don't know if any of you have been sick, but it's not like being healthy. That's for sure. Okay, we are on the 13th of February. We got some big games here. Big games coming up. Every game is a big game when you're in the Big Ten. Every game is a big game in the Big Ten. That's why it's called the Big Ten. Indiana got 100 points on Purdue, 101 to 66. Ohio State took another big loss. So we have Nebraska. They're coming in 4-9 in the Big Ten. We are 104th. We didn't make the top 100 after that big win, but let's not give it away. We had a big win. It doesn't mean anything if we lose to Nebraska. We're close. We got 97 we're going to get that hundo before the end of the year. That's for sure. Not for sure. We don't have that many games left. But that is also win number 15. We have completed our goals. We have completed our mission. How do I get to my profile? I want to see. Oh, maybe your office. There we go. So win 15 goals. We got it. Finishing the top half of the conference. We're on our way there. We don't have any academic, academic ineligibility. We're not going to improve the, the school prestige, I don't think, because I made a couple of mistakes in recruiting. I meant to watch film on a couple of the lower players, and I accidentally offered them scholarships. I took them back right away, but I lost three prestige. So job security is at 100%. That's because we're in sandbox mode. We're not going to lose our job. Qualify for the NCAA tournament. That's going to be iffy. I'll tell you that right now. It's going to be iffy. How can I see their grades? Are they on their roster page? Roster view. Let's look at their bio. Okay, here's their GPA. Yeah, everybody's doing well. Got the two redshirt freshmen that are low. But Riley Barrett, is, why are you so upset? I took care of your problem with that price. I'm getting him out of here. You got I'm just looking at his stats for if he leaves, what I got to replace. He's got very little defense, so 
Um, he's a junior, three star. I'm I'm starting to worry that he's going to transfer out. That's why I'm paying such close attention to him. I don't know if I saved it after that game, but we have three days to go to get to Ohio State. This is a must win. We beat them away. We got to beat them at home. We got to. We can't lose to Ohio State in basketball. We got another incident. Please don't let it be Barrett. Please. I can't have any more problems with him. I need him. I don't have another shooting guard. I got one coming in next year, but I don't want to be back to having one. It is Barrett. Oh, my God. Price, leave him alone. Okay, I'm going to have another meeting with Price, and I'm just going to... I'm going to try to piss him off so much that he just he walks. I want him gone at the end of the year. I don't want Barrett gone. Two weeks. I don't care if there's a major drop. I want you gone. Unbelievable, isn't it? It's like a bunch of school kids I'm dealing with. I guess I am. Okay, so we're up to the 15th, and our game is on the 17th. We got two days of, of simming. So losing Barrett next year would be a big blow. Reason is, oh, speaking of big blows, I just hit the table with my knee. Reason is I only have right now one shooting guard that I, I'm comfortable playing. And I got one coming in. That will give me the two so I can rotate them. And I love rotating. I don't know if you got that from the so far in this series. If Barrett leaves, I'm back down to just one. And I re it really puts the pressure on me to get one in in the transfer portal. But that's such a, it's such a, a, a crapshoot that I don't know if I'll get somebody at that level. I'd like a, a three star or above. But I mean, there's not a whole lot of time to scout these players in the transfer portal. So I, I'm a little bit worried about it, but I can at least get somebody to back up my, uh, my new guy coming in who is named one second. Oh yeah. Brian Nielsen. Yeah. He's good. He's good. Okay. Ohio state on the docket. So Wisconsin with the win. Any other right? Oh, Michigan State and Illinois. Michigan State comes out on top. Both ranked teams. Okay. Ohio State at home. They're 3-11 and in the Big Ten. We beat them away. We got to beat them at home. We got to. And we did. 96-76. to Will Haywood, big game. Barrett, 10 points. Stay. Do not transfer. Be happy. Where is he? How do you? I don't know how, what to do. I'm going to have a meeting with him and tell him that he's doing such a great job. Hey, so happy with you, buddy. We love you here. I'll move that camera a little bit. Beep, beep. Whoa. Almost flew it right off the table. Okay. Your attitude. I just want to tell you you're doing a great job. Keep it up. Playing style. No, I don't want to tell him anything about that. So I try to butter him up, blow some little sunshine up his backside, but wasn't having it. He was just like, okay. Well, listen, we're giving you the moon here at Michigan. This is a team on the rise. You don't want any part of that? Go. Just go. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Go. Go. I'm sorry, it's just, I got some boxes here I was looking at. Next up is Iowa. What do, I don't know what to think about this game. They, they've they beaten some of the big boys and then they lose to the doormats. Where do we fit in? We're in the middle somewhere. We're 9-6 and six in the conference now. We're making moves. We're 16-9 and nine overall. Now 20 games is not out of reach. 20 wins. Look at that game, 102-101. I like that. Um, yeah, we only need to win four more games. That's including the tournament, right? So, yeah, we got at least three more conference games. One's against Maryland, so I don't think we're going to win that. It is at home. 
And then we travel to Michigan State. I do not want to lose to them, but they're better than us right now. They're better. Let's look at the conference standings. So we've moved up. We're ahead of Wisconsin. And they're ranked. So one, two, three, four. We're fifth right now. Nine and six. Got quite a few games left. No, we don't. I was too far up on the, st on the schedule. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five conference games left and then the tournament. So we might get a win in the tournament. So we need to go... If we go three and two, we'll be at 19 and eight. Sorry, 19 and 11. And then with the conference, we can get one win. Or we can go four and one. But we got a couple tough games on our schedule. So... If I can win three of the next five, I'd be happy. We got Maryland at home, and we got Michigan State away. If we can win one of those two games, we'll be four and one. Okay, so here's Iowa away. Let's, let's not discount them. They're a pretty good team, too. So, oh, my goodness gracious. I don't even want to look. Oh, my God, that's horrible. Not only is it a giant loss, but we gave up 100. We gave up 100 points. I want to get 100 points. I don't want to give it up. Now we got to go back home and play the number four team in the country. See how quickly things can change. We're 16 and 9. I'm thinking about 20 wins and getting in the tournament. Now we're 16 and 10 facing two tough teams. And, you know, we're going to have to fight to win 17 games. No, we got Rutgers. We can beat them. No offense to you, but they're 5 and 20. We got them at home. That could be the game that we get 100 points. I want to get 100 points this year. We've got 97. Oh, we got a delivery guy here. I got some returns going back. I might have to walk away for a minute. I'm not going to pause anything. No, it looks like he's going to a neighbor's house first. I have some deliveries coming in. I got a quieter mouse. That could be it there. And I have some returns going back. That look was, uh, I was thinking about whether or not I should tell you something, but I'm not. Why would I do that? Information is power. Don't give it away. Okay. Indiana with a win over Nebraska. I'm looking at the ranked teams. Illinois over Northwestern. And Michigan State beat Penn State. Okay, so we have Maryland at home. They're 13-3 and three in the Big Ten, number four in the country. I'm not expecting a win, but it's not out of the realm of possibility. So let's check it out. Didn't happen. Not only did it happen, but we got pounded. I don't like to get pounded like this at home. If we're away, that's not bad. Okay, this could be just a delivery, or if it's a pickup, it's going to take a little bit longer, but I'll be right back. Actually, let me sim to the next game. I'll try and cut this out. Yeah, he wasn't picking up. He was just delivering. Too bad because I got to go out and I don't want to miss the pickup. And I didn't miss anything in the game either. I don't have to cut that out. And you get a live Amazon packaging opening. So I got a little tripod. Turns out I don't need it because I like the one that I just found in my closet. So that's going to be a return. And then the next thing I got. So there it is. Michigan State 22 and 6. Sorry about the package rattling. But I want to show you this. Oh. Mouse pad. I thought it was a new mouse. Okay, I'm going to mute this for a second. All right, a little mouse pad there. A little mouse pad. Oh, very nice. So, no more of that. I don't know if you can hear that, but now it's... That actually might be louder. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Well, I'm going to put it there. I'll take that to work with me. <coughs> OK, 
Okay, so 16 and 11. We're 9 and 8 in the Big Ten. We got a game against Michigan State. And we've dropped. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're 8th. But it looks like we're going to stay 8th because Purdue is 6 and 12, and they're 9th. So we've got... Uh, we've We've got that goal in the bag. Sorry, I had some gas. <laughs> Another incident. Corey Brown was mouthing off about Collis Randall. So I'm looking. I always look at who's better, and that's who I think is right. So Collis Randall, he's my starting center, and Corey Brown... He's my third string center, and he's a uh, junior. He's going to be my second string next year. <laughs> I'm going to go hard on, not hard, but I'm going to talk to Corey Brown, but I'm not going to go hard. I'm just going to be like, hey, what's up? You know, that's my starter. Deal with it. It's not his decision. It's mine. Let's talk about some things that have been going on. Okay, I'll try harder. Is there anything else you wanted? That's all I wanted, buddy. Corey Brown. And you know what? He handled that pretty well. So I'm going to reward him. Oh, he's not even playing. Oh, he's going to be second string next year. Um, let me take... No, I was going to give him some minutes, but... Yeah, if he's going to be playing next year, let's give him some minutes. I'll give him... Uh, let me start the second half. But then I got to give Randall a couple extra minutes. There we go. Just mixing it up in starter minutes. So here we go, Michigan State. Let's see how those extra minutes pan out. We, huge, huge on so many levels. It's a ranked team. It's a road win. It's Michigan State. All three are that's what I'm talking about. Save that game. I do not want to lose that win. 85-81 victory over Michigan State. That's our 17th. So we're three away from 20. We got Rutgers coming in. They're 5-20. and 20. I'm going to go out on a limb and chalk that up as a win, number 18. If we win two games in the conference tournament, which it's a stretch, the first one might be against a lower team, but then we're going to have to beat somebody better. That'll be 20. That'll be 20. So we're going to sim ahead. It's February 28th. We got a game tomorrow against Rutgers. Wow, that's probably my most satisfying win of the year, even over Ohio State, because Ohio State is not on our level basketball-wise, but Michigan State most definitely is. And we beat them in East Lansing. So we get to walk around their campus going, hey, look at it. No, we we'll would never do that. But oh, yeah, I got to hit play. I talk too much sometimes. I wonder, I ordered a mouse. I wonder why that didn't come. I wonder if that's like not a one day. This might not be. Oh, this is actually. Okay. This is a tripod that you. You can hold in your hand like this guy's doing. But you can also open it up. That's what I wanted. But it's actually too low. Like it's too low. This one is a good... You like the angle? I, I like the angle. I'm, I'm going to send that back. I, I want to reach for my phone, but my phone is right there. I'm going to do it later. Time is it. Okay. We got 11 minutes left in the stream. That's perfect. We'll take you to uh, the tournament, I think. I think that's all we're going to get. Look at that. Houston lost to Temple. Whoa. Okay, Rutgers at home. Let's get right into it. I, I knew I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. When I said I'm going to chalk it up as a win, I knew it was going to be a loss. It's cursed. I'm cursed. How does that happen? Is that those extra minutes I gave to that center? Couldn't be because we beat Michigan State with that lineup. Now what? Oh, we still got Indiana. I forgot about that. We're at Indiana. 
Are they in Indianapolis? Or Terre Haute? Or Terre Haute? No, that's Indiana State. I don't know where Indiana is. Let's go. Ten minutes left. I keep hitting. I keep forgetting to hit play on that. Ten minutes left. This is video number three. So we're three hours into this stream, and we're just getting to March Madness. Usually, I'm a lot quicker getting through a season, but I have enjoyed this season more than any other. There's Gonzaga. I always have problems with San Diego. I have problems with a lot of teams in that conference because I was a uh, one of the lower ranked teams in the conference at Loyola Marymount. It's going to be interesting with this CBGM taking over Laurel and Marymount. They're at 20 prestige. They start at 49. So somebody, the AI or somebody else, is taking them right down. They got five recruits coming in, five freshmen. They're all one star. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough turnaround. The prestige I'm more worried about than the recruits. The recruits, four years, they'll be gone at the max. But uh, the prestige is going to take a long time there. We got 100. We did it, but we lost. I, you know, we it was a road game at number seven, Indiana. We got 108 points. I'm not going to be upset about that. Let's look at the box score. They We had them in the first half, not going to lie. But this one went to overtime. That's why. 28 to 27 in overtime. That must have gone double overtime. Wow. It was 81-81 at the end of regulation. So that's why we got 100. Massage with 27 points. Perry, 15 off the bench. Haywood, 20, and he was a minus 2. Walton was a minus 9. And Randall was a minus 8. I wonder if that had to do with the incident. Anyway, very close to knocking off one of the top teams in the conference. So the, the regular season in the Big Ten is over. We finished eighth behind Northwestern, but above Penn State. We finished 17 and 13 for the year. And so the only way really that we're going to win 20 is we got to run the table in the conference tournament. So let's sim to the conference tournaments, actually sim to the conference tournaments. I've been doing it all year, but... This is actually to get to the conference tournaments. So these, <coughs> I don't know if this is finishing up their regular seasons or that's their conference play-in games or not, but we got games on the Saturday. And so the conference tournament will start pretty soon, one day. So we're up against Penn State. That is a 9-8 match. Um, I'll show you the grid of the conference. Big Ten. We're looking for Big Ten. Here we go. So we got playing games. Nebraska at Ohio State and Rutgers, Minnesota. We're in the Rutgers, Minnesota bracket. We have Wisconsin. So we'll play the winner of Wisconsin versus the winner of that. Whoever wins that will play the winner of our game. And then we'll have Indiana waiting for us. And we almost knocked them off. So hopefully, oh wait, if we win that. How does this work? Okay, these guys, will, oh no, we won't play Wisconsin. They'll go to play Michigan State. We will just go to Indiana if we beat Penn State. Okay, I see how that works. It's kind of a weird uh, way they have it laid out here, but now I get it. So players declaring for the draft Masich is declaring early i did not want that he's a sophomore he's my best player oh no so say goodbye to 13 points in 5.6 rebounds a game so the only oh, i wish it was a my power forward that was leaving haywood if I had to choose, I don't want any of them to leave, but I have a backup for him. Oh, I got an injury here. Broken nose, nine days. How did I not, why was I not informed of that? Is that in my email right now? No. Anyway, we'll deal with that. I guess we got to, how are we going to deal with that? We got a transfer, bring in a transfer, an extra one. I don't know. That's tough. That's a big blow, but at least we didn't get... Uh, oh, the transfers haven't even declared yet. 
So we might lose price also. Wow. Not good. Five minutes left in the stream. We'll take you to the end of the conference tournament. And maybe we'll do the selection show. Unless maybe that's a good way to start the next video. With the selection show. We'll see time-wise where we're at. A lot of games on this day because it's uh, early in the conference tournaments. As the tournaments go on, you'll see less and less and less games. Texas Rio Grande. I got it. I should have picked them. My son's name is Rio. That's why. It'd be nice. Okay, we're gonna go back to the game grid. So it's Ohio State, Nebraska, Minnesota Rutgers today. These are the play-in games for the Big Ten. Michigan 17 and 13 so far this year, 10 and 10 regular regular season conference record. Okay, so we can see here Ohio State beat Nebraska and Rutgers beat Minnesota. So now Rutgers, Wisconsin, Ohio State plays Iowa, Purdue Northwestern, and we have Penn State. We're just gonna jump right into it. We lost. We're out. 17 and 14 is not going to get us in the big dance. I think we're done. I think we're done. You know what, though? Sayonara to that season. Bring on next season. Penn State had a losing record. We shouldn't have lost that game. We're going to sim to the postseason. Yeah, so now I'm definitely going to start next video with the selection show. We're not in the we're not going to be in the tournament. Not at 17 and 14. Now we've only got 3 minutes left, so we'll just do a quick recap and then we'll end the the video there. Cincinnati and Memphis, 102 to 85. Central Florida. What conference is that? Big 12? Central Florida and Wichita State? I think so. Big 12. Ricardo McCutcheon. Good name. Still going. There's McCutcheon again. Okay. So the number one team in the country is Kentucky. 30 and 4. We got... Xavier and Alabama kind of battling it out for a second. But in the net rankings, it's all Xavier, their first place. Got Oregon up there. Any surprises? Maryland's fourth. They've been fourth pretty much all year. Michigan State, they're still 11th. We beat them. Butler, Bowling Green. Bowling Green State, never mind. Wow. Is it Bowling Green State? Or are they Bowling Green State Falcons? No, that's Bowling Green State. All right. Um, anything else I want to see here? Oh, yeah. I wanted to go see the bubble watch. We're, pro we're Most likely we're going to be in the NIT. Well, I guess there's no bubble watch because we waited too long. They don't want to give it away. Selection show. we got two minutes left. Let's do it. I'll watch the show, but I'll click through. All right, so in Dayton, the playoff games, Wolford and Hampton. Never heard of Hampton. Long Island is on the play on 14 and 18. South Carolina State, 13 and 19. How are these teams even considered? They probably, they definitely won their conference tournaments. And then St. John's, Oklahoma State. Hey, Marquette's there with a 17 and 14 record. We might have a shot. <coughs> well, that's all the play in games, so maybe not. Anyway, Xavier with the number one seed in the Philadelphia region, which I imagine would be the East. You don't know, this wouldn't happen. 
Maryland and Penn State first round. They don't do that. You wouldn't see conference rivals battling in the first round. That's got to be fixed. I've, I don't think I've ever seen that. Maybe I have. I don't know. Maybe I'm talking out of my butthole, but I've never seen. I don't remember seeing that. Carolina with a seventh seed and they're number 22. That's a bit low. Iowa got in. <laughs> and they're an eighth seed, 21 and 12. So that doesn't, I don't know. I don't think we're going to be in. West Virginia, Nevada, a three seed, Nevada. Wow. You got Colorado, Butler, Vandy, Northwestern, Arizona State. Alabama with a one seed. Not surprising. They're number two in the country. Texas with a two. Then Illinois with a three seed. They weren't even ranked for most of the year. Did we beat that? We might have beat them too. Michigan State, we definitely beat them. That's another thing. A three and a four from the same conference? Yeah, maybe. And a five? Definitely, that's that's a little wonky. Hawaii's in and we're not in. It's embarrassing. No offense. Indiana with a three seed? That's a bit low. I would have thought they would get a two. Bowling Green State. Six seed, 27 and five. Good season for them. Texas Tech and Seton Hall, Arkansas. And that's it. We did not make it. We're probably in the NIT, but there's no selection show for that. Let's find out. We find out usually with an email. Your team has been selected to participate in the TBC. Ugh. Ugh. Do we have to? Do we need to show up? Let's have a look at this TBC. Who's in there? There's only eight teams. We're a six seed. We're playing LSU first round. There's Duquesne, Lehigh, Ball State, Arkansas State, San Jose State, and Charleston. What? Oh, that's kind of a... No offense to these schools. LSU's probably thinking the same thing, but like, it's kind of beneath us. It's beneath us. I don't know. I don't know. LSU's 18 and 14. Well, that will be it for this. And I don't mean to disparage any other schools. We're just, it's all fun. It's all fun. Uh, That's it for the regular season, 17 and 14, 10 and 10. After a good start, we kind of fell apart at the end. I thought maybe we would uh, be a little better, but we, we will be better next year. Hopefully we don't have any big transfers out. Okay, we'll see you next time. Next time, I definitely will be wearing different clothes because it's not going to be today. I got to go and do a bunch of stuff, and I got to leave. I have an appointment in uh, one and a half hours. I still got to shower, change, and it's about a 15-minute drive from here, so I like to be early. Anyway, thanks for watching. Next video, we're going to get all through the conference tournament. We're going to get through the transfer portal and probably a good chunk of the summer. It's whatever I can do in an hour. That's basically the series. Every video is going to be about an hour. And it doesn't matter if I'm in the middle of the season or the middle of recruiting. One hour, done. Okay, guys. Love you.